welcome to Me Diaries. My name is Shandell and I'm here to share a message of hope. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just happy that you're here with me. First of all, I just want to say hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to my channel. My name is Shandell. You know, I've been delivered from addictions, uh, bipolar, trauma, anger, self-hatred, all of these things. God pulled me from the pit and I'm here to talk about Jesus. I'm here to share what God has done in my life because I know he can do it in anybody's life. So thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to my channel. I just, I love the, the support. Uh, thank you so much for the comments. It really means the world to me. I just, I love doing this, you know? Um, uh, so the message and the scripture that's been on my mind that for the last couple of weeks is uh, Philippians uh, 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I've been saying that to myself because no matter what we are going through, we can do all things through Christ. And he does strengthen us. We have this spirit of the, the living spirit of God dwelling inside of us. We have Holy Spirit inside of us that would walk us through victory in every part of our life. Um, that would just heal all of our diseases, break all of our chains, Break all of our bondage. The anointing breaks the bondage. The anointing breaks the yoke. And we have the Holy Spirit living through us that he would sanctify us, that he would take us through this process that our minds would change. And we can do all things. And when we open up our lives to God in every part of our life, in our finances, in our families, in our careers, Holy Spirit will be glorified through all of that if we let him and he will open doors for us. He teaches us. He guides us. He heals us from the inside out, even in our food, even when what we're eating, God can be honored through that. And even right now, God is taking me through this. Um, you know, this food, uh, and the sugar and all of that. I'm on day, like day 28 with no sugar. And it's not that sugar is bad, but it is how we eat it, how we consume it. And, and I just realized through my walk that it's like, okay, God, I surrender this part to you. And through this, uh, sugar fast that I'm going on, I'm realizing that there's still root things inside of me that God is working on. There's still emotional things inside of me that God is working on where I would have found comfort in the sugar and the food. But now I'm finding and comfort in the Lord and there's so much breakthrough but if you are going through depression if you're going through a uh, uh, mental torment if you're going through these things here is the answer the answer is here in the word of God through uh, any depression any fear any anger anything that you're going through you can find the freedom here in the word of God through Jesus that the world might tell us that there is not a cure for bipolar there's not a cure for these things but I'm here to tell you Jesus is the cure Jesus delivered me from bipolar Jesus delivered me from body morphia body dysmorphia these are the things that the world would say that there's no cure for but Jesus is the answer that he he would come into your life and he would completely free you from these things. He can take bipolar. He can take anger. He can take addiction. I lived in a, I had a 20 year addiction to meth and heroin and anything else under the sun. I've tried it all. And Jesus healed me. He set me free. And I have over six and a half years off of drugs and God can heal you. He is the answer. G Jesus is our only hope in this world. And I lived in darkness for so long. And I know that the hope of this world is Jesus. The hope of this world is we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We have the spirit of the living God inside of us. I don't know if you've been baptized in the Holy Spirit, but I've been baptized in the Holy Spirit. And we can do all things through Christ. Greater is he that lives in us than in, is in the world. And through Jesus, we can walk through any storm. Through Jesus, we can see circumstances change. Through Jesus, doors will open that no man can close. And Jesus will establish you. He loves you. He delights in you. He has created you fearfully and wonderfully. And, and all things you can do through victory through Christ Jesus. God is so good. He is so good. And I've been saying that scripture. I can do all things through Christ through Christ who strengthens me because God is fighting for you. God loves you. He has plans to prosper you, to give you hope in a future. And whatever you're going through, Jesus is the hope to get you through that. And I know because 
I lived so many years without Jesus. I lived so many years just in darkness trying to figure out what life was. And, and then I had my encounter with the Lord that radically changed me. And I know that if he can do it for me, he can do it for anyone. I didn't believe in God. I didn't believe God was real. I wanted nothing to do with him. But I had an encounter and God radically changed me. And he's still working on me. He's still taking me through this process. But I know that no matter what I go through, God, God can get me there. He has healed me from years of trauma. He has healed me from so many things. I used to be an angry angry person. I mean, there's so many things I've done in this world that I'm not proud of. I mean, I, I did drugs for so many years. I, I was selfish. I was self-seeking and God healed me and delivered me. And, and I know that there's nothing that God can't do. I mean, he can do anything. God is great. He is amazing. And he loves us. He's created us. And if we would walk into our identity, if we would walk into who God is calling us to through prayer, through petition, through uh, surrendering, through through laying our lives down and picking up our cross, who God is so good and he will radically change your life. And it's a process. If you're anything like me, it's a process. It takes layers and layers and layers of these things to come off of you. But the beautiful thing about it is we're not doing it alone. And through Christ, he can strengthen you through Christ. All things are possible. Greater works will we do because we have the power of the Holy Spirit living inside of us that we are just, I'm grateful to be here in this time and this age, day and age, because I know that God is moving and I know that he is going to do amazing things in this world and the glory of God is here and it is in your life. And just if where, if you don't know how to get there, just pray just keep pushing through and go by what you know and not how you feel because our feelings will deceive us. So I'm going to close this in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, God, that through Christ Jesus, we can do all things. Through Christ Jesus, we can do all things. Thank you, Jesus, for laying your life down, that we would be imparted the Holy Spirit, that we can walk through every storm, that we can walk through every storm, Lord God, and be victorious through Christ Jesus, that the curse is broken, that the devil is under our feet, and we have victory, Lord God that depression can't touch us, that bipolar can't touch us, that poverty can't touch us, that lack can't touch us, Lord God, because we are attached to a kingdom of abundance, Lord God. I pray for revelation. I pray for wisdom to fill us now, Lord God, that you would just strengthen us, Father, in every aspect, in every area of our life, Lord God, that we would be strengthened in you, Christ Jesus, that the joy of the Lord is our strength, that we are the apple of your eye, that you have plans to prosper us and to give us hope in a future Lord God, that you've created us intentionally and purposefully, Lord God. So I thank you for that, Father. We give you the praise. We give you the honor and glory, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Take care.